and their adult son, Michael Jr., set to appear in court today. All three face a slew of charges in Knox County, including felony murder and child abuse. Yvonne Thomas has a closer look at the charges ahead of today's hearing. This will be Shirley Gray's first day in Knox County Court. She was recently in quarantine for being exposed to the coronavirus, but her husband, Michael Gray Sr., was arraigned earlier this month. Shirley, Michael Sr., and their son, Michael Jr., are all due in court today to begin preparing a schedule for prosecution. The Grays are facing a slew of charges in two counties. Here's what we know so far about their charges in Knox. A Knox County grand jury indicted the Grays this month on charges that include murder and the death of an eight-year-old boy in 2015 or 2016. The child's remains were found in May in the yard of the Hall's home where Gray Jr. lived. Michael Gray Sr. and Shirley Gray also lived there until they moved to Roan County in 2016 with several of their adoptive children. Authorities allege all three of the Grays abused the elder Gray's adoptive children. The hearing today is set to begin at 1230 this afternoon, so stay with us for updates. Joel Guy Jr. will spend 106 years in prison for killing and dismembering his parents in 2016. Judge Steve Sword ordered two consecutive life sentences. Knox County jury found Guy Jr. guilty of those charges last month. Sword says based on Guy Jr.'s response and behavior following the brutal killings, he believes not even 500 years would be enough time to rehabilitate him. I was watching him during the trial. Uh, he said absolutely no remorse. Despair at seeing uh, what he had done. Uh, quite frankly, Mr. Guy, you look like kind of proud of what you had accomplished. Not everyone felt the same, including a family member who forgave Guy Jr., saying nothing can be changed and that he knows Guy Jr.'s parents are in a better place together. Guy Jr. and his defense team are requesting a new trial. A status hearing is set for February.